I mean, like straight up, if we were to design a new speed route today, you would have so many different choices to make. One would be like, okay, this thing is a, I don't know what people call it, like a 10D or an 11C. I can't remember what the grade is, but it's a fairly juggy route, but everything's far apart. Would you say, okay, let's make this harder by starting to put some more crimps or more slopers so that you have to really commit to every move? Do you want to shrink the distance between it so that the route becomes more accessible to beginners? Like for me, if I was opening a gym, I would 100% put a speed wall in it right away because that would be an incredible recreational draw for people. But the current speed route is terrible for people that are just like walking into a gym for the first time and want to use the auto belays. What if the like international speed route was very accessible for starters, but took an incredible level to master, right? Like, I, I think th the decisions you could make if you redesign the route would be really consequential and could really change the industry in a lot of good ways, but you could, you could really change up the competition as well. So as much as I want to see more cycles with this one, just a couple more, I mm -hmm. think the next one could be like, it could be a really huge deal. That's a ter terrible idea, changing the speed course, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. I mean, think about it, like, in track and field, you know, you don't every few years say, okay, now we're going to change it to the 210-meter dash. And, oh, now it's I don't think later, that's analogous. Gonna... <clears throat> but why But why would you change it? I, I mean, I don't understand, like, like why? I don't, I don't see the logic. <laughs> let, people, let it be consistent so people can have that benchmark for for years that they can work towards. Sure. Um, now, I... if one of the things again going back to to like track and field right let's that's a that's a, for the speed portion that's like a, it's it's an easy it's like a good comparison in some ways um one of the things that i think is really fun is to go back and look at these records the, look at the times from the 1930s look at the times from the 40s the 50s the 60s um and i think so we have to think of this not just in the current time but look at this a hundred years in the future or something like this assuming the sport continues to grow don't don't we want to have those people in the future running the same course that we are now for just for the sake of comparison and having some some kind of heritage to the sport um i, I think that. it's it's just it's weird if you're every four years or five years or ten years even if you're just changing it and it's like a completely new i mean that's what makes that's what makes speed climbing unique from bouldering or lead climbing right is that the the wall is it's going to stay the same, yeah. the setting. Um, so I, I don't, I don't disagree with you. I like how fired up you are about this. Actually. I, I don't think I've seen you like this passionate about it. Well, and it's, it's about interesting topic. because I don't, I mean, I, I <laughs> certainly don't think that the current speed route is, is like perfect route setting. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of, a lot of problems with it. Um, and a lot of areas where you could, you could really criticize it, but, it's the cards we were dealt. You got to stick with it. You can't sure. just, you know, you can't, uh, it's like, it's not perfect, but it's what we have. Yeah. And, and maybe you could convince me, okay, we, we should change it so we can get it as close to perfect as possible. Okay. Maybe, but then you can't, you got to stick with it. 